Look, Penny, it couldn't be as bad as what you're saying. Do you really know what your brother's doing? I know he's been a bit of a black sheep. And since he's been in your group, he's insisted on using the name Captain. And he did have a fishing boat license once. This is more than just fishing. He thinks he's a prophet now and he's convinced my sister Hinda to marry him next month. But what's your concern? If they truly love one another, there's nothing we could say to change it. Do you know what Hinder's really like, though? There's strange things happening that I can't work out. Haven't you been to where your brother and I fellowship? I'm convinced Hinder has him hoodwinked. You don't know her like I do. Look, my brother Mike is a young man. And because of my interstate job, I haven't seen him for several months now. They'll be at the Bible study at Hinder's place tomorrow. Please tell me you'll come, Robert, and talk some sense into your brother. I can't wait till I see him at my family reunion next week. You don't understand. You've got to come before it's too late. Too late? Mike, it's me, your brother. Yes, brother. We're all brothers, aren't we? I've come to see how you're going. I want you to meet my lovely, lovely fiancé, Hinda. We met after I returned from an expedition to the Red Planet. After many hours of meditating on that biblical concept that women are from Venus, I came to the vortex of truthliness. I like the way you walked into the room. Come, sit right next to me as we study together. I knew you were coming. What's your name again? You know, your brother, Robert Preston. I knew your brother was coming after that vision I had at the convention. It felt as though I was coming down from Jupiter. It blessed my socks up. Quiet now. Buck's anxious to get started immediately. Come on, Robert. Let's not just stand here doing nothing. We've got some serious business to get down to. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves, teachers, having itching ears. Now you'll notice from this, we can identify teachers. When it refers to not enduring, it's really coming down to the sound doctrine which is coming out of the teachers. Of course, I'm trying to explain to you that the lusts will heap up. And we can see that the true teachers will have the itching ears necessary for the discernment of the sound doctrine. Thus concluding that the teachers must have the itching ears to avoid the lusts. Yes, the itchling is definitely upon me. Amen, brother. My ears are itching too. Are your ears itching too, Robert? Here, let me scratch them for you. Oh, I, th I think I'd better be leaving now. Don't get caught up in this paraconformity. The propheticness nature of your persistence in wanting to leave is just short of being mournfully joyful. Though I'd like to be joyful, I feel a word coming on. Does it begin with the letter R? If so, I'd like to buy a vow, please. Pharisees! What? They're here already! Amen, brother! I'll be with you in a minute, brothers. I've just got to go over into the corner. He's got such a burden. Why, Father Lord, why? Why does that poor bullet carry so much? Send me, Father Lord. Send me with a prayer burden for it. I'm a real guy. You gotta help me expose them. You gotta help me expose them. They're watching me. Everything I do, it's part of the elaborate conspiracy. They're 
me down, but I've evaded them. They made mistakes and given themselves away. I've made myself such a threat, they can't get rid of me. But soon, my excellent research will uncover them. Uh, who are we talking about? Can't you read the letter? Conclusive evidence of their elaborate conspiracy. I took this from Pastor Blowfly's file. What? The files? You know about it. Uh, I meant what files? Who are you talking about? Me! Me! Tony Fatini! They're after me! Who's after you? Yes, Tony. Who's after you? It's in the letter! Mr. X! Mr. X! But why? Not why! X! But Mr. X is... Uh, I mean, it's excellent research you've done. You'll never find out about the pact. I mean, fact that John the Baptist is coming to town unless you listen to the true teachers, such as Pastor Blowfly. Are you the Antichrist or do we stick in there? Don't you mock Pastor Blowfly after everything he's done for Halloween. Need to be hallowed is what I'm trying to get at. Stop playing word games. Who sent you? Out with it now. I'll have you know I've been sent by Satan. Saviour of the world! Don't let it get to you, Tony. So, are you available for lunch tomorrow? Hinder is accusing you of lusting after her. You saw me. I did nothing. I've been called for an inquisition at Pastor Blowfly's office to explain why I brought such a lustful man to the Bible study. It's worse than I thought. I'll definitely have to get Mike out of it now. I told you what she was like. Now do you believe me? I don't believe we've been properly seduced yet. Oh, hey, who's that over there with that remote bugging device? It's nice to be here with you at Joey's Cafe, Tony. Why right here? I know who Joey is. His friends have passed a blowfly. Don't worry, Tony. What would you like today? I like children. Do you like children? I want five of them! Tony, do you mind if I just freshen myself up? For you? Yes, you are fresh, aren't you? Who's that over there? Born the fair 1968. <laughs> Mr. X is over the blowfly, the conspiracy, the letter, the hinder, the children, the serp. Pastor Blowfly, all of our suspicions are correct. I've got him almost where I want him. Soon he'll be like the rest of them. Easily manipulated. Is tonight still on? Are you sure your wife will be out? the information now. My extensive files will be fuller than ever. How could you let such a lost man get in the way of my wonderful prophecies? I promise you though that I'll be gentle with you if you tell me where you came from. But if John the Baptist doesn't come like I prophesied, it's your head on a platter. But Pastor Blowfly, I've always honoured your word. Because you are a pastor, I've always honoured you as a lovely, honest, pure... I'm an exceptionally positive man, and anyone who disagrees is... Negative? Precisely, my girl. You've got such a hairy face, Tony. What have you got there? It's nothing. What is it? Ah, oh, Tony! You got to tell me! What did you say about children before? I've got to know! What about Mr. X? I'm gonna take a note for an answer! <laughs> you set me up! Take it back! I've got the perfect scripture to address your lamentable situation. There must be some mix-up since I was here the other night. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you, other than that which we have preached unto you, 
Let him be accursed. Because of this, Pastor Blowfly has asked me to come to his office to explain what happened. Now what happened is this. The angel coming from heaven didn't preach just any other gospel. Though the gospel to you, being a gospel, came to the accursed because you were preached not another gospel, but the other gospel. Amen! I'm preaching that other gospel. I baptise that well-known verse, Revelation 23, verse 98, given me as a word from Pastor Blowfly when I first arrived from the celestial pond. He gave me the buzzword, Praise Hallelujah! I can't understand how this has happened. The gospel is the problem. Obviously the angel hasn't been preaching to you, the accursed state you're in. Not through the other gospel. And now I'll let this dry have its will done. Amen, Sister Barber. That B-I-B-B-L, I can feel it in my toenails. I'd love to sing melodiously like you, but why, why doesn't my guitar harmonise with me? I wasn't doing anything to hinder. I'm looking forward to clearing up the matter with Pastor Blowfly. You would have been able to see him at the seance. Uh, say I once saw him cast out, I mean cast out, the demon of gluttony. If it hadn't been for my other life, no wife. How is that dear plump wife of yours anyway? Oh, I kill, I mean kissed her after I deceived, I mean received from Pastor Blowfly, that other holier gospel. J-O-S-S-P-L-E I guess Pastor Blowfly will clear it all up. Quick, wake up, I can clear it all up for you.